Federius has conducted some detailed analysis of their generic drug market and we have found a number of drugs that have exhibited significant price increases and show signs of potential collusion and anti-competitive behaviour. Here is an example of four manufacturers of a generic drug that can be seen hiking the price by an average of 550% around June 2014. There are a number of factors that make generic drugs highly susceptible to collusion. Prescription drugs generally exhibit an inelastic demand curve. This means that as price increases, demand remains the same. Consumers don't have much choice when the price of their prescription drugs increases, as this is considered a necessity to their well-being. This gives manufacturers significant pricing power. We can see from these graphs that as sales spike up due to the significant price increases, the quantity remains steady. Generic drugs are subject to commoditization, which means that manufacturers are usually forced to compete on price, as opposed to other factors such as quality, service or branding. This makes price-based collusion much easier to monitor and implement. The generic drug market is highly concentrated, with only a few large manufacturers dominating production. This graph shows a market share from 2009 to 2016. From the price spikes we observed previously, there are only three main manufacturers. This again makes it easier to facilitate collusion. It also makes it harder for competition to enter the market and bring down the prices. Artificially inflated prices will affect health insurers, welfare trusts or any other entity that purchases, provides reimbursements for generic drugs. To calculate class-wide damages, Fidelis will first determine a theoretical price the drug would have sold at in an efficient, well-functioning market without any manipulation. The amount of class-wide damages will depend on any particular drug, but may be in excess of $1 billion in certain cases.